Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a question that's been haunting gamers for nearly two decades. Is it too late for Half-Life 3? Let's break it down. First things first, let's talk about why Half-Life is such a big deal. The original Half-Life games redefined the FPS genre. Half-Life 2, with its groundbreaking physics engine and immersive storytelling, set the bar so high that it's still considered one of the greatest games of all time. But here's the thing Half-Life 2. Episode 2 was released way back in 2007. That's 17 years ago. Since then, the gaming world has changed a lot. We've seen entire franchises rise and fall, new genres explode, and the way we play games has evolved massively. So with all these changes, where does Half-Life 3 fit in? Or does it even fit in at all? One of the big reasons why Half-Life 3 has become this almost mythical game is because of how Valve has handled it. Or rather, how they haven't. There's been radio silence, teases, rumors, and let's not forget the countless fan theories. Every little hint from Valve sends the internet into a frenzy. But after all these years, can Half-Life 3 really live up to the hype, or has it been too long? Now let's talk about Half-Life. Alex, released in 2020, it was a return to the Half-Life universe, but in VR, Alex was a great game and proved that Valve still knows how to make an incredible Half-Life experience. But the thing is, it wasn't Half-Life 3, it was more like a prequel, a side story that left fans still hungry for that true sequel. Plus, being VR only, it was out of reach for a lot of players. So, while it was awesome, it didn't quite scratch that Half-Life 3 3 itch. So what's the deal? Is it too late for Half-Life 3? Honestly, it's hard to say. On one hand, the longer we wait, the higher the expectations get. At this point, Half-Life 3 would have to be nothing short of revolutionary to satisfy fans. But on the other hand, the nostalgia and the legacy of the series might be enough to make it a hit, no matter what. After all, it's Half-Life. People would lose their minds if it was announced. But here's the thing, the gaming industry has moved on. Games like Cyberpunk 2077 have shown that even with massive hype, things can go horribly wrong. Could Half-Life 3 face the same fate? Would it end up being a disappointment because it could never live up to the insane expectations? There's also the question of whether Valve even wants to make Half-Life 3 anymore. They've shifted focus to things like Steam VR and now their hardware ventures like the Steam Deck. Is Half-Life 3 even on their radar? Or have they decided it's better to let it remain a legend rather than risk tarnishing its legacy? But you know what? Despite all the doubts, despite the insanely long wait, I think there's still a place for Half-Life 3. The gaming world might have changed, but the desire for a true Half-Life sequel hasn't. If Valve ever decides to pull the trigger, it could be a moment that brings the entire gaming community together like never before. So, is it too late for Half-Life 3? Maybe, but maybe not. And until we get a definitive answer, the legend will live on. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think we'll ever see Half-Life 3? And if we do, will it be worth the wait? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.